Hi. Today in this short tutorial I'll teach you how to make your non-steam games such as Assassin's Creed Valhalla as you can see run really damn smooth. As you know games that are officially on Steam uh, download shader cache which is uh, given to you by the Steam. However if you don't have the game on Steam or in this case the game don't even it never existed on Steam, you don't have that opportunity, so the game is usually stuttery. But if I show you the settings, as you can see, it's a native, 100% field of view, 100% scale, and the preset is high, as you can see, everything is high. The only thing I did was turn off depth of field, motion blur, and set the FSR to ultra quality, and the game is running really damn smoothly. And if you play this game on your Steam Deck, then you know that it's usually a stuttery mess. Uh, before I show you the solution, let me just show you quickly one more game that also shows these major issues. I'll just exit the game like that. And this other game is, of course, the uh, GOG version that is uh, great old games or good old games uh, of cyberpunk as you know the game is available on cyberpunk <laughs> my bad the game is available on a steam uh, store and also on gog store so if you got it from the gog store then the game usually presents with stutters uh, and i'll show you right here like if i show you that the game is from gog um, if i just show you where it's located like right here like you can see it says GOG Galaxy and then it's basically the folder for Cyberpunk um, I'll show you that the game runs really really smoothly as well um, this won't be a long showcase basically I set the crowd density to medium and everything else is essentially high Preset with motion blur, lens field, every all this crap set off. Everything else is literally high, and I'm using FSR 2.0 mod and balanced. And as you can see, borderless and 128800. Now, if you also care about this stuff, basically 60 hertz, 60 FPS cap. And if we continue, there we go. So you can also see the uh, frame cap. I will show you, okay, there we go, now the game loaded, now if we go and play a bit, I'll just drive around a bit, I'm trying to find this stupid Delamain car, but I'm literally not having any luck for the past 30 or so minutes, so let me just show you how it rides, now let me pick a location that's a bit deeper in the city, um, let's say we go there um, so you will see why the fuck did that do whatever so let me show you now we're not talking about performance per se because as you're seeing we're getting like 33 fps um but the stutters which if you play this game on gog you know there's like massive stutters happening so damn often Especially when you go in the city, there's literally none of that here. The game is, as you would say, battery fucking smooth, and it's it's such a night and day difference. Basically, you can see it. Like if I was on dog, I would be stuttering. So, what is the fucking solution? Well, the solution is really simple. All you have to do is first step go on desktop mode switch to desktop so it's gonna switch to desktop second thing of course run the steam so we can get the keyboard control I mean the mouse I hope you can't hear but there's a kid being murdered outside my doors what the fuck? Then you run the discovery 
or the discover uh, in here in the bottom right corner uh, left corner once that baby loads up I'll just resume my downloads a bit so this doesn't hog my internet all right once this baby loads up what you want to search for is start by typing in proton then click enter and then proton up I messed up let me try this again so we type in proton enter and then we want to install proton up uh, proton up Qt once you install this what you want to do is run it you'll find it under start and then utilities and then proton up Qt and once you load that up all right once you load that up you won't have anything here but what you just have to do is simply just click add version then you click version and you just want to select the latest one like it's going to update it over the time so maybe just check like once a week once a month which is the latest version select that one and then just click click simply click install once you've done that it will be shown here all right so the next thing you want to do is once you install it i think you'll like want to restart your uh, deck and once you restart your deck what you want to do is basically select the games that are non-steam right click properties then go under compatibility and here you will see the option to select GE Proton and basically the version you're gonna see here is the version you have downloaded and the second thing you want to do is go under shortcut and under launch options we want to type this DXVK underscore a s y and c equals one space percent command percent and that's fucking it like once you've done that and run a game you'll see that it runs zero fucking stutters so i hope this helped you and if it did enjoy this game ciao